So this is one of my coding buddies. He's so adorable. Just look at him. Just look at him. Just look at him. That's where you go. A little bit right there. Oh, that's right. You guys want to talk about salary? You guys want to talk about how much I made in my first developer job? Well, okay. I wanted to make this video. I've seen this question being asked a lot, especially by people who want to get into coding, get their first developer job. So I'm like, eh, let me answer it for you. Um, just for reference, my experience is different from everyone else's. I'm not sure how much everyone else started on their first developer job. All right, so here we go. In more of a background on myself, I am a self-taught software developer. I spent six months learning to code. The main language I focused on was JavaScript, and the markup languages obviously is HTML and CSS. I spent around, I'll say four to five months out of those six on JavaScript. JavaScript and a framework. So the framework I learned was React and React Native. And other than that, my main focus was CSS. Yes, yes, I mean CSS. Most people just spent a few, maybe a few weeks, hey, maybe a few days, but I spent months mastering CSS. I wanted to be a front-end developer. Everyone is different. Everyone has different experiences. Everyone has a different learning process. I spent learning CSS, advanced CSS, SAS, Flexbox, and Grid CSS. I am mentioning the slight details of the CSS I learned. It does come into play of why I was offered the salary that I was offered at my first developer job. I started applying for jobs at my fifth month mark. I developed a portfolio from the beginning. So ever since I started learning to code, I developed a simple portfolio. With more React, more depth into CSS when I learned SAS. I kept updating that portfolio, kept updating the previous projects I have built, and obviously adding new ones. And I went ahead and took down all the miscellaneous things like every small project that was not up to standard, my standards, I went ahead and just removed them. And it actually took me three, three resume updates in order to get any feedback for at least an interview. So everything is a process. You learning, you developing a portfolio, and then getting the right resume, getting like that resume just right in order to entice somebody to give you an email, give you a call, or schedule you for an interview. Once during the interview, was I asked about my education or asked about my previous work experience? All that was talked about during that interview was my portfolio about JavaScript questions, React questions, CSS questions, and also a bit of bootstrap questions that was included in there. And for some reason, I was, I was asked a very... I'm not saying it's not, I'm not going to say it's a personality question because it really wasn't. It was more of like a mental, how you think question. Um, I didn't like it. I did do one coding challenge on the board for JavaScript. Um, but that was, if you want to see more videos like this, press that like button. Come on, just press it, press it, press it. So, oh no. So I know you want to see more videos, more stories like this. Come on, just press it. And also, you guys, you guys, that subscribe button for me. Just come on, tap it. So I did a follow-up email. And two days after the follow-up email, I did receive a call from the company. They called me to say, congratulations. And then my salary was going to be 75K. 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 At first, I'm like, Honestly, I was speechless. I was speechless that they were offering me this much. Mind you, I live in the South. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I've only been coding for six months at most. And they're offering me 75K. Guys, if you want to know why I left that company, go ahead and like this video and subscribe if you like my content, you guys. A small company with a small development team. It was the max of six developers, including myself inside. Um, I'm not going to say what they did or the name of the company, um, just because... It's more of a privacy for them. Um, 
I don't want them coming back at me for saying anything. Um, so I'm just going to leave it at that. So my base salary is 75 k and that's not including bonuses or the benefits that it came with it. I was very grateful. I was beyond, beyond speechless. When I was told how much I was making, I, it took me, it took me five to 10 seconds to say, thank you. Um, thank you. I'm more than happy to work for this company. I accept. Um, a few hours later, I signed my offer letter. It was truly, truly beautiful. So that was my story. 75K at my first developer position. Work for it. If you honestly put everything you got, if you look at the job description and you try to match not everything, you don't need everything, but just match 75% of it, you can honestly get that position. Um, just build an awesome portfolio. Um, go ahead and make sure your resume is on point. If you need help with resumes, I can go ahead and make a video on how to create um, a good resume. I no longer work at that company. Um, it was just my first experience at a company was not my best. It got so much better after I left and then I got new positions, contracts, freelancing. It got so much better. I met so much cool people. I do believe the backend developers and I believe developers in general, one of the coolest people there is. And they're so smart, man. And I still, I still have to finish that water right there. One gallon of water. And I, I'm not even half done with that water. You try to drink a gallon of water a day. All right, guys. <laughs> see you another day. That was hilarious. All right, you guys. See you in my next one. Sadame, yo tan loco en ilusionarme, creyendo en tus pe.